In this lecture, presented by www.free-academy.com, we're going to find the area between two different curves. And there's a prerequisite condition for this. You need f of, if you have two functions, f of x and g of x, if f of x is greater than or equal to g of x on an interval from a to b, then the area between f of x and g of x from a to b is the definite integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x dx. So I've drawn down here two equations, f of x and g of x, f of x equaling x and g of x equaling x squared. The area between those two equations, as you can see graphically, is just this little sliver between the two curves here. Notice on our entire interval, f of x is greater than g of x. If you go outside this interval, g of x is going to be greater, and you can't necessarily apply this equation. But on this closed interval, that is the case. Now let's actually do this interval to see an example, and then I'll talk about it a little bit further. So we're going to go from the interval from 0 to 1, f of x equals x minus g of x, which is x squared, dx. We evaluate this. This is going to give us 1 half x squared minus 1 third x to the third, evaluated between 0 and 1. This gives us 1 half minus 1 third, which equals 1 six. Now if you notice, I left out evaluating the zero portion of the definite integral, and that's because zero squared equals zero, zero to the third equals zero, so it all just drops out. But to be rigorous, I can write it out, one half minus one third minus one half zero minus one third zero. All right, but either way. So 1 6 is the area between our two different curves here. Uh, let's take a look in a little bit more detail why this is. Grab my black here. And I'm going to draw two different graphs here. And these are our points 1, 1, 1, 1. This will be our f of x and this will be our g of x. Now the equation for f of x was a straight line. If you take the definite integral on this, you're going to get the area underneath this line here, this triangle. Of course, that's what our definite integral is. It's the area between uh, the graph and the x-axis. And when we do the same thing with our x squared, we get a little bit different of an area. So now I'm going to write in my g of x here. And notice you take the positive area and then you subtract off this area. What you're left with is the little bit of sliver between the two functions, which we calculated before. One more thing I would like to point out before the end of this lecture is you can kind of think every single integral as this integral. If f of x equals x squared from 0 to 1, you can think of it as f of x with your g of x equaling x equals 0. Of course, your x-axis is the line x equals 0. So minus 0 dx, x minus 0 dx, with x being our f of x, 0 being our g of x which of course this equals the integral from 0 to 1 of just x dx because 0 is meaningless it's an arbitrary constant which we neglect when we do a definite integral so that's all for the area between two functions